what is up what is up it's Kovian here and welcome back to the channel shout out to my brain damage test video uh i saw a comment okay this comment here by zila the tag you now i'm not trying to call out zila or anything but zila has found a way to make um this lady work okay zila says she's still pretty awesome you can't just throw any gear on her you need you need to build her either faster than ava or much slower i have her on my team and she goes last and has her s3 ready on the first turn she obliterates the enemy now i have no gear to make it much slower to the point where she gains a turn okay i don't have this gear so we're gonna try the much faster version maybe maybe the much faster version works okay so <clears throat> the plan here is that she goes first uh, let me switch back to the game. Let me switch back to the game. We are, here we are in the game. So I've been testing her as much slower. It's not working. So I think what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna look at the speed of my Mona Deva. Uh 259. I'm just gonna make her faster than 259. And then from that point on, she will move before Mona Deva. Okay. So I'm just gonna change her gear right now, guys make her faster than 259 and then we'll get back into it okay here we go i made her faster than 259 she is 266 speed and really the goal here is to she moves first let's just let's just go to arena <laughs> i'll explain why we're in the arena right so the goal here is basically she moves first she does her second skill right gives herself barrier but that's not even the point the point is that ava moves next that's gonna be first tick right and the first tick she's gonna protect and since she's since she's behind um the point is that the whole team moves before she moves i don't think that's what's gonna happen i think she's just gonna skip right because again the problem is her charisma buff like especially for pvp like it's good in pve that she's gaining all this priority 15 percent priority but you'll see why it's bad here she'll just skip over everyone like she won't get the five thing <clears throat> again i'm just speculating i'm assuming um i think i also watched an ad gen video whereby she's faster and the same situation happened okay cool so here it is right now right i'm gonna do the third skill set that i don't get like countered by cannon in like nothing bad happens from like touching buttons okay and then we protect her and she's she's at the end now but here's the big problem you guys are gonna see after monad ava has moved look at that she she's already she's gonna jump ahead okay and that's not what we want so maybe oh my gosh she already jumped ahead of everyone look at that she jumped ahead of everyone fuck bro this is the problem charisma gives her priority so if she's fast like i don't get it like this is what happens even when i make her dead slow like 130 speed right all it takes is for the enemy to move twice and it's her turn the problem is that now no one moved five times so it's still not um the thing still hasn't activated now it has activated but look at that she's dead <laughs> so uh the guy who commented on the video i'm sorry man it's she's being forced okay <clears throat> this is what i'm trying to say she is for her to work i'm i'm sure there's a team that can make her work but at that point you are just forcing something that is simple let me show you how simple this is okay it's that simple and that's my problem with this lady is that now we are making her faster it's not working we are making her dead slow it's not working she's jumping to the front she's getting in between turns it's it's just not working okay maybe she needs to be way faster like 300 speed right maybe that's what needs to happen but why force yourself to make a unit work when you have a stay? Okay. And this is just my main crap. Look at that. It's going to be Asta's turn, right? 
and we are not gonna wait to like ramp up or anything no 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 the third skill exists look at that they melt they die i move on to the next game okay this is what i mean everyone's dead i move on to the next game while it's with her i have to stress about moving this shape do that da -da 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 -da. I, like i don't i don't like forcing things for pvp okay you guys like that's what i wanted her to do i wanted her to take a turn and kill the problem is that i have to wait for this third skill that keeps on ramping up infinitely it just doesn't work guys and that's the problem it just doesn't work roxy is even better in this case that in in terms of like gaining priority because she's gonna use her passive to gain a priority right let's say i'm cleaving okay actually let's um i don't, I don't think i have roxy geared let me show you why why roxy is infinitely better okay for cleaving in pvp okay guys just not in general i i think this unit is better than roxy in everything else but just for cleaving in pvp i'll give roxy uh yeah immune mage whatever yes i'll give roxy that gear okay and then i'll go with uh the regular degula cleave team there it is there she is uh who else can i put do i put cannon do i put her she she's in the she's in the thing uh let's just pen it whatever i think i took some of her gear so let's just do that eps ranger i think that's her yeah <clears throat> okay there we go so why why roxy is infinitely better okay it's because she has her her skill in pvp you don't like you don't want this wind up thing no 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 when it's her turn she's gonna have the skill to kill okay we are not gonna wait a hundred years or like wait for the next supper to happen no <laughs> wait for the opponent to take a hundred turns no 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 we are just gonna get in here and do it okay we're gonna get in here we're gonna cleave and the one that's left uh wait ah fam i put them the wrong way rox is gonna move first well cannon then roxy then lastly oh roxy moves lost i didn't know but anyway there we go roxy moves right kills and then it's roxy's turn no it's not she's dead oh no oh no uh let's kill this thing too much protection Okay, I was trying to prove a point that Roxy attacks out of her turn, but uh, I didn't like prepare her better. I shouldn't have had like this. It shouldn't be who's this? Oh wait, my Notia doesn't have gear. I took some of her gear. Fuck. Yeah, that's what's happening. I took some of Notia's gear, guys. That's that's what's happening here. It's fine, it's fine. Cannon will just solo. It will just be a cannon solo. Easy days. Easy does it, boys. It's not even a big deal. Bruh, how many times are you gonna counter draw, Khan? Calm down. I didn't crit. Good, 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 good. Okay, but yeah, it's it's just gonna be a cannon solo. Hey yo. <laughs> is my cannon dead okay i died oh it's my fault guys notia doesn't have gear but my point is roxy was just gonna take a turn and kill okay and that's the difference between brain and roxy in terms of pvp all right not just in general in terms of pvp and that's why you, you get people just putting in roxy her problem is it's the wind up right it's again it's not bad it's actually it's, it's it's horrible you know who she reminds me of hey yo is the game bugged you know who she reminds me of fatal 
you guys go look at my first impression of fatal brain reminds me of fatal okay fatal has the best s3 but the devs made it so hard to use this s3 it's insane look okay so she attacks an enemy and when the enemy is killed she'll gain an extra turn okay when attacking a boss ignore 100 percent on target's defense when granted stealth and here's the fucking problem it's this part when granted stealth enemies killed by this cannot be resurrected or revived this was supposed to put demi aste into the ground she's dead right but here's the problem it's conditional when she has stealth how does she gain stealth she needs to use her second skill she doesn't start the game with stealth so you can't use this skill at the beginning of the game you have to take a turn use your second skill lap all around again to use this skill which means your enemy is moving your enemy will kill this fatal before it does anything right so fatal if fatal had a way to gain stealth at the beginning of the game without moving just that she starts the turn with this skill fatal will be the most used unit in this game right in pvp because what you would do is you would kill a um who's this lady you would kill a demi aste gain us gain an extra turn and then use this skill which removes a buff and kills okay so you would kill two units you'd kill two units it would be perfect you'd kill two of the damage dealers it would be perfect right this thing it removes debuffs from her right but bro like and that's the problem here is that this skill for fatal is so good the devs nerfed it and that's what happened with ren it's 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 another sim it's a similar situation to make sure that brain is not oppressive in pvp right not overbearing they made it such that she ramps into this this immediately like the fact that she can't start the game and do the third skill immediately disqualifies her for pvp viability okay it immediately does anyone who has to ramp up to their big skill to their big thing and they have no way of surviving this ramp up there's just no way there's no way she can survive on her own and she likes taking turns because she's gaining priority from the charisma it's absolutely wild and um it's like the reason why we don't use units like maxwell right maxwell also has this ramp up mechanic requires five revolutions of truth now maxwell is worse right because maxwell at least with brin it's whenever the enemy and the ally takes a turn with maxwell he has to take a turn <laughs> to gain these revolution thing right skill two so it's basically she maxwell has to take four turns before he can use his big damage skill okay which also penetrates defense we don't use them how how is he gonna give have five turns no no one's gonna allow him to have five turns man no one and it's it's the brain effect it's it's the fact that he they don't start with the big skill there's no way to cheat it out um if you're going to play her you are basically forcing a team around her while as this whole ordeal could be simple okay basically if you're gonna play her like just play demi aste zero setup just have demi aste in the team when it's her turn she'll blow up everything it is that simple and that's just the reason why i personally do not think she is good in pvp so um just just to go back to the comment right zila's comment if you are someone like zila right i'm not trying to put down creativity having fun with units because at the end of the day that's the best way to do any of this right the best way to enjoy a gacha game is to find units that you like 
and then use those units make teams around them buy skins for them take screenshots of them put them as your screensavers stuff like that waifus whatever that's it zila the tag group found a way to make her work she is awesome in zila's team right but we can't just say she is awesome in general because that is not true she requires so many so much babysitting so much special treatment have to build a special team around her fam like very special not just any <laughs> level of special like very specifically for her to make her you can't take her in and after you build a team you can't take that team into any defense it has to be curated specifically for her right if you're doing that for your waifu man congrats i know zero celeste makes it a point to use this ninja lady let's go back in game uh shout out to zila by the way if you also found a team like zila did here you guys should enjoy using her in pvp you know like that's 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 the point of the game <clears throat> shout out to zero celeste that man tries his best right i'm not sure if he's watching this video right now <laughs> but he tries to his best to use the ninja uh it's a water ranger right yeah this ninja edoise bro bro has a six star edoise and he's using her in pvp you know shout out to him that's the point of the game find something you like and you use it again Adoise is another one of those where that kit takes a roundabout way to do a simple thing right it's it's like complicated text look at all this text this text lead to a simple thing okay it doesn't it, nothing complicated happens with this unit even though there's just so much text moving around okay but um yeah my point is that if you are like zila um you found you found a way to use bread okay my videos my reactions my um my damage tests should not bar you from using this lady you like her you want to play her in pvp you want to build the best team for her do it but from a meta standpoint we have to talk about that myself as a youtuber i have to talk about man i can't be telling people she is great summon for her for pvp such that they need like 10 extra other units right with specific gear with like that's not something that i can promote now again i'm not cutting it out completely she she is probably the current second best fire dps right now Okay, I think so. In PvE, she is pretty good in PvE. As I told you, this skill, once it starts, it's a roller coaster, right? Like it feeds into each other. She has so many turns. This is basically just a two turn skill. This is a two turn skill. You can best this to make it even faster, give yourself charisma, and then just keep rolling, right? She rolls out of control with her third skill. If we ever get a content where there's like wave after wave after wave of the wave of units, she will be the way to kill that. And in the future, I I do believe we'll get content that makes a shot. But for now, no. PvP arena is not one. Will RTA be one? We don't know. Will Guild Wars be one? We don't know. Right? We just don't know. Any co-op thing will be one? We don't know. They're not here. But what we know is that it's hard to use her in arena offense and it's impossible to use her in arena defense. I've been Kovian. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.